is depression similar with uh, mental disability of special education? Is depression similar with craziness or mentally deranged under psychiatry? And my answer is no. There are three of them. Three of them have are different disorder. Okay, depression is untreatable as well. The process is, is longer. You need a therapist. Uh, mentally deranged, you need a psychiatrist. And special education, uh, mental disability for special education teachers to handle is forever and we are all taking good care of them and we're preparing for their self-help skills but they are not crazy okay so the only crazy is crazy and what is craziness okay so what is mental distress so if you google there uh mental distress is similar with depressions the only difference with mental distress or mentally deranged is that they don't take a bath they have anxiety and nervous breakdown that it, it, it also varies once mentally deranged. Uh, you, the person is afraid to, to take a bath because they are afraid of the water or they get anxiety of the water, phobia of water or they, are, they like to be, they love to be stinky and to be smelly. So that is mental deranged and mental distress. How about depression? The type depression is closely related with the range but the only thing is dysfunctional in terms of emotions they are always always sad and the problem there with depressions depressions mentally deranged is similar in terms of not sleeping and both of them having a splitting personality disorder or all the neurons both of them all the neurons and neurotransmitters are splitting. The only problem with depression is that, as the doctor said, it is treatable. But the trouble is with depression is the trauma. Because trauma is untreatable. Like my case. Now, uh, mental distress or craziness or deranged. Uh, again, it's similar with depression. Also, this therapist and you need to have to visit a psychiatrist and the treatment is expensive. That is why there are so many deranged people, crazy people in the Philippines in the road, along the road, walking and not sleeping anymore and stinky and smelly because of no money. So they are considered, they are no difference with homeless in the, in the United States of America actually. So America, you have to be careful with your homeless because homeless in America can be considered as the range people similar in the philippines because when they were since birth they are considered as mental disability that person is under special education trouble with like in my case i was deranged at the age of 36 so and a teacher so i can i go to the government and ask money from them like the special education supposedly in the united states of america and in the philippines now we, if you are considered as a person with disability as mental disability since birth um can ask assessment of or access or free financial disability assistance to the philippines and my answer is i love to be in america <laughs> but in the philippines no we don't we have to strive to get treatment to get healing to get a uh, therapeutic therapeutical assistance from the therapist and i myself is using through online especially my facebook page for treating my type of depression because my depression went to the range i am considered a mentally ill but how come i survive because when i had my depression i took suicide but my last dopamine my last presence of mind said i need to go home because my ego is telling me and my the god all the god in heaven and in hell don't like me at all <laughs> So it's always like that, folks. So, yeah. And um, I'm still treatment. I'm still under treatment, actually. Uh, I, I'm just lucky that, you know, I just know how to take good care of myself. 
because I love my job so much. And uh, I'm not in the road. <laughs> be in the road that is meaning you know stinking no, no bath at all but my problem is uh, in terms of job honestly honestly i'm always late although although before i'm always late but now with under depression and uh, under mental health and illness uh I'm so very careful also because, uh, but in, in terms of work, I don't have problem at all. <laughs> I think that's the that's the, the, the most amazing part of myself for being uh, mentally deranged once. 2020 to 2021, I was considered as deranged. I'm taking a medications for that. I know my boyfriend knows about that. I'm, I'm not ashamed to tell them, hey, you know what? I, 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 I was crazy on 2020 when the COVID-19 was... Uh, ongoing so i'm um, sometimes i would say hey you know what i am covid-19 in person so everybody in my school were laughing at me like what so it's like it's really funny but that's part of my deranged experience so mm, my deranged i'm very expensive actually uh, there's this is the problem with my deranged type Mm, I am very expensive. Uh, I'm so lucky that I landed with people and I landed also with boyfriends that I mean, you know, they're very supportive. That's all I could say. In terms of mental health, we should, we, we should ha have someone that is, they can understand us because um, we are dangerous of not getting marriage or having no chances to have a family in the future. But for me, I'm not ashamed with men mental health. Because actually, I'm working on the uh, United States of America would have to face the uh, consequences on my case. Sure. Quiet day, quiet be. Because uh, I was deranged on 2020. I never in my life experienced any deranged or any depression at all. And even with my, when my boyfriend, so that's why I said when I experienced a depression two, twice,